Okay, so we are in PayPal and I sold this book for uh, 200 bucks and don't forget that I actually put a subscription on a book. And this is another person, if you think that's crazy, that paid the same $200 and got on the subscription as well. And then we have another person right here who paid for the book and got on the subscription as well. Now, what book is this? This is the 197 book only versus best. Okay, so why would they pay for that is because it has the same value of this $200,000 offer on my agency site to fly me out and I build a market monopoly so they can learn the market monopoly for $200 versus paying me $200,000. So when you can stuff that amount of value inside a book, you can charge that high for it. So now you guys should understand. So uh, what do you need to do? And why would anybody agree to pay you 200 bucks uh, for a, an ebook or an audio book? So you guys are used to charging a dollar, ten dollars, uh, at most thirty dollars for a book. And I've even seen a lot of high level people, high level entrepreneurs and authors only go to around maybe thirty dollars for their book plus shipping and handling and everything. So how come they aren't charging hundreds or even thousands for their books is because people don't understand how to insert or inject value into their books. Books are not just words. You need to create an experience with a book. How can you give them an experience, the same experience that they can get in person with you, but in the form of words or, you know, or audio, right? How can you do that? So you need to have great stories, first of all. Then you need to have case studies. And then you need to have uh, um, you, <laughs> persuasion of all things, okay? So inside my book, only versus best, I put scriptures in there, okay? So I'm tugging on the spiritual and the heartstrings of people, and I am addressing the proof factor as well, because a lot of people want to know, especially if they don't know who you are, like, how do you know what you're talking about? How can I prove you're legitimate? Well, I back things up with God, okay? So I tell people at the beginning, God is my lawyer, so this ain't hate speech, it's great speech. Uh, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. That's what the scripture says. So I teach people business through biz, uh, biblical business principles. So I have all proof in there. Then I have stories to back them up. And then I show them exactly what I did to grow these businesses, how to help businesses expand and how to help business owners exit businesses with a large amount of money by using the market monopoly to dominate their entire market, obviously. OK, so them knowing that the only other option to get that information, guys, remember, when you control the supply and the demand, what can people do? So them knowing that they the only other option to learn the market monopoly is to fly me out for two hundred thousand dollars is a no brainer to pay the freaking two hundred bucks instead. Right. Yo, we got the same information in there. It doesn't have the implementation. You still have to figure it out. But the problem is, or the challenge is, most people think they're smart enough to figure your stuff out, right? So they'll pay the 200 bucks, go through the book, and try to figure out what the market monopoly is and if they can do it in their industry. So I don't hold anything back, right? But uh, they can't get my years of actual experience of implementation out of the book so they still need some type of skill set i can tell you all day how it works and what to do but if you've never implemented it before you're still going to struggle right so <laughs> uh, but the uh, only versus best book it pretty much teaches people how you want to position yourself as the only option right i don't want people to be able to put me on a shelf I don't want you to be able to price shop me or tell me, well, I talked to this other dude that did the same thing that you do or provides the same service as you do, and he only charges blah, blah, blah. So I think I'm going to go with blah, blah, blah. This is why my agency is not a marketing agency anymore, because I don't want you to be able to uh, compare me to some other Facebook person to do your ads or some other SEO. Even though we still do those things to get those results, we position ourselves as something different, something greater, right? And we put all of that inside the book, right? So it's only a small percentage of people who will be able, cause you're like, okay, well, if you put the market monopoly inside um, uh, the only versus best book, 
isn't it going to be people that's going to try to imitate you? Sure. Right. All knowledge is shared knowledge. Nothing is completely original. And I understand that uh, the Bible says, let all your ways be established. Right. So there's going to be people that can take certain parts and elements from the book, but they're not me. So they won't be able to be a, 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 a <laughs> an exact copy. Right. OK, so it's made to inspire and help people uh, grow their business and, and, and everything like that. Right. That way they get a good ROI on the two hundred dollar investment. Hundreds of thousands of dollars can come from them reading that book, which is why I priced it at 200 bucks it should be like 2000 to tell you the truth right it's an entire course inside the book it's an entire business blueprint inside of a book for only 200 bucks guys so this is why people uh <laughs> are paying the 200 dollars for the book and i never even promote it i don't like run ads i don't i haven't did an interview on it you won't be able to find any interview as of this date on that book but people <laughs> go to the site and they just see the value and they say, yo, instead of paying a 200 K, let me at least see what I can pull from this book right here for only 200 bucks. And why does it have a subscription to it? So I like to be an innovator. So for when I, when I was uh, selling the book right now, I haven't really been paying attention lately. I kind of cut and dismissed it because I'm trying to pull myself from uh, doing daily activities and everything. So when I was selling the book, uh, actively or whatever I had a subscription on there so each book that I was selling is gonna have a subscription to it why because we don't want one-time sales we want subscriptions right because that is what's gonna free you be able to sell to somebody one time uh, if you sell to them one time but you can continue getting money from them without selling to them again that's how you get passive income guys right so I just simply created a group for the people that went into the only versus best book so that they can go in there and read together and, you know, share ideas and business and all of that extra stuff. So <laughs> I'm an innovator. So the first person to ever create a, a subscription from a book. So you, you guys can take that. But you heard it here first. Right. All right. So, guys, I have a software below. It's an AI software that I use to create my e ebooks and everything. So I have ebooks as well. I'm going to be showing you guys into that as well. It automatically helps you fill in the ebooks and and all of that extra stuff. Put it all together. You guys should check that out. It's in the uh, pinned comments and everything. You can also go to the site if you want to check out the book. You can. Like I said, I'm not doing any hard sales, but I have been able to stuff the entire business blueprint of two hundred thousand dollars, which I'm going to start charging higher for the market monopoly. $200,000 inside of a $200 book. Two, pay attention. It's $200,000 $200, worth of value inside of a $200 book. That is why people pay me for that book.